Hey, what's up everyone? This is Rob with Blame Rob Videos. We're continuing our Diablo 3 gameplay on Hell Difficulty. We're going to kill all the bosses in Act 2. Unfortunately, I don't have the waypoint for the next boss because I skipped ahead with my friends. So we are going to be going to... We're going to jump ahead as far as we can to whatever quest this is. Betray Betrayer of the Haradrim. Uh, I'm joined here with three of my buddies. Uh, first off is I'd like to introduce Sawmoth. How's it going, Saw? What's up? So I know Saw from uh, our Counter-Strike server. We're in the same clan. We play Counter-Strike together. I think we play, we play Dota 2 together. We play, what other games? Team Fortress? Team Fortress 2? Whatever. Yeah. yeah. We're, Whatever we're going we Saw, have. by the way. Yeah. What's up? We're Saw. We're, we're fighting. I'm oh, coming. yeah. I'm here. So um, my screen's lagging a little bit. I think it's still loading. I have no idea why my screen's lagging. This has never happened to me. I swear this has never happened to me before. Uh, what else? Oh, Saw, this is your first time joining us for the videos, actually. Actually, you uh, you joined us in Mumble that one time, but you weren't yeah, actually playing. Special right. guest so it was it was boring yeah. that time, because I wasn't actually in the game. Right. <laughs> so, welcome, welcome. And uh, next up we have Roush. How's it going, Roush? Hey, it's going good, Rob. So, uh, Roush has joined us for several different videos. He's um, he had blah, blah, blah. He's also from we'll our Counter-Strike server. And where are we going? Who who are we following? Come I on. was following Pint of Fail. Okay. For some we need, reason. We need to find the stupid oasis. Or the forgotten runes. And then um whatchamacallit? Uh blah blah blah. So we know Roush from the Counter Strike server, we play Counter Strike, uh we played Team Fortress 2, uh he's joined us for Diablo videos. Roush, I could swear we played other games too. What other games have we played? Hmm. I thought uh, we'd play more. Dead. Left 4 Dead, bit. thank you, that's it. Oh, oh and yeah. Saw too. yeah, that's right. Saw for Clint Best Monk. Exactly. Um, so... If you would ever get Street Fighter, we could play that. Yeah, I don't play Street Fighter anymore. Oh, well, I never really got serious about Street Fighter, so... Oh, Roush is a big fighting games advocate, so Roush, why don't you tell us a little bit about your... Uh, Recent addiction, yeah. Recent fighting game. I'm done with fighting games. I used to play a game called Guilty Gear, and I tried. Uh, we have blues, by the way. I tried playing um, the Street Fighter series, but um, it was just too easy. Daigo had nothing on me, really. I didn't want to embarrass him. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just uh, busy it, getting killed over here. Roush, did you want to Our maybe team. tell us about how Street Fighter's going? Oh, it's going good. I love it. Um, I guess I've been playing it for like three years now, which seems like a long time, but Street Fighter 4 was really the first uh, oh, wow. fighting game that I played a lot, Right. and the more I play it, the more I like it. Sounds good. And so, thanks again for joining us on your monk. Oh, I forgot to ask Saw what, Saw what his skills were. Actually, sorry, can we backtrack to Saw? Saw, what skills are you using on your monk? So I'm using uh, everyone's favorite Serenity Bubble with the heal, of course. Breath of Heaven for heal and additional damage with Blazing Wrath. Okay. Mantra of Conviction Overawe for the extra damage. Blinding Flash for that disable when I'm in that oh shit moment. Uh, I like Deadly Reach with the uh, Foresight for the extra damage also. And I use Templar Rush for my runaway moments. Sounds good. And Roush, which uh, skills are you using for your monk? Uh, my primary attacking skill is Crippling Wave. Um, other than that, I'm using Inner Sanctuary, Sweeping Wind, Cyclone Strike, and I also run with Serenity. But I use that more for my oh shit moments instead of whatever Saul said. Because uh, invulnerability and you run. Right. Well, no, I, yeah, I, I only use it when it's an oh shit as well. I have lots of oh shit abilities. Yeah, it's because just funny you hearing, hearing you talk about your abilities, it's like... It's kind of the same, but you use your stuff in different ways. Cool. And then the last person I'd like to introduce is Pint of Bass. How's it going, Pint? Good, man. Good. It's been a. It's been a. Took a little break from Diablo 3. I haven't played in a few days. What have we been playing, Pint? We have been playing Day Z. The <laughs> bestest. I. If you told me two weeks ago that I would go nuts over a game from an obscure engine, a mod from an obscure engine, no less. And it's it's a shit engine, let's be honest about it. It, it is a shit engine. <laughs> but I would be absolutely addicted to it. I tell you, you're full of shit. <laughs> it is... It is... What the hell killed me? I wasn't even anywhere near me. Um, yeah, there's... I love it. It's perfect. 
It's the perfect game. So why don't you give us a, a brief description of what the game is and uh, how we've been playing it. Well, it's... You, you gave all the basics. I mean, yes, it's a, it's a first-person shooter setup. But, in my opinion, it's a survival uh, simulator. It's not a game in the traditional traditional sense. Right. Um, and that makes it pretty unique. I mean... Oh, there's a guy that throws stuff. That's how I died. Yep. Um, makes it a really neat, unique experience because you're... The, the point isn't to get a good kill-death ratio. It's to not get killed, period. Right. And period. So, no, it, oh, I completely Arthur. agree. And so, actually, uh, Saul, why don't you tell us uh, a little bit about uh, the the injury and damage system in that game and how how much of a threat the uh, zombies are in that game. Freezing. Oh, while I'm dead? Yeah, while you're dead. Yeah. Okay, um, the, uh, well, the, the zombies, uh, are dangerous in groups, especially if you're out in the open and you don't have a place to cover and funnel them, funnel them to you. Um, they're, they're tailored after the 28 days later zombies, so they run fast, they have some intelligence, uh, just enough to, you know, but not run right at you. Uh, they'll try to zigzag a little bit. Sure. Um, uh, the health system is pretty pretty unique in that you don't really have hit points, you have blood. Um, so you you can gain back uh, your blood um, in small increments by eating. It's not like a health potion where you're you're fully back up to full health. Right, right. And, uh... It, well, what's the other thing? Well, there's, there's uncon... You can be knocked unconscious in one hit. Transfusion. Blood yeah, there's rush was thing. Yep. Yeah. Oh, is that a real thing? I it is a real thing. That's kind of cool. <laughs> that is the um, health potion in bones. that game. Yeah, yeah. Broke, there's broken bones. Um, it's uh, it's 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 a great great mod. Yeah. Thoroughly enjoying it. So if you've ever seen, so when I first was introduced to the game, uh, and the way that people have been describing it to me. If you think about the Walking Dead movie or series or any any zombie movie where the zombies are running at you, that's the kind of aggression and danger level that these zombies present. So first they're just staggering around, but if you aggro them, I mean one hit can down you. It's not like Left 4 Dead. It's like playing Left 4 Dead. On What's the hardest difficulty on Left 4 Dead? Uh, uh, expert? I think it's Expert. Yeah. Whatever it is. It's like playing Expert times 2 because I believe in Expert mode, if you get punched once or twice, you're still standing. But in this game, I think there's a percent chance, a higher, much higher percent chance for you to fall down just from one one punch one. from yeah from a zombie, or your bones will break, or something horrible is going to happen. So that's sort of the danger level. Yeah, the you, other need to, you need to eat and eat and drink as well. Special so over you... here. Let's fall back. Let's oh take... wow! I just I just aggroed a bunch of whites. It's all right. We're good. It's fine. I'm I'm gonna oh well. Illusion. I'm gonna trap him. He's Desecrator too. Where is Roush? Where is Roush? He said he had to go AFK. Oh, okay, I didn't know that, sorry. Um, what else? So actually, the way, the way I take the little, my take on Daisy is, um, it, there are a lot of games like it. I've seen a lot of games like it, uh, on RTS custom mods, like Warcraft 3, or, um, I'm trying to think of another popular mod, but, the one that I'm thinking of right now is uh, Warcraft 3. There's a lot of survival type games, and DayZ does it very well where it's a first person shooter, but it is a survivor type game. And it is a sandbox survivor type game, so there's no real win condition, but we're trying to uh, cr create a fun scenario for it. We're fighting a boss, by the way. Create a He smashes you in one hit! We're trying to oh. create a fun scenario for our video, our series of video. And what else was I gonna say about Daisy? Oh, the map! The map is huge. Did we talk about navigation, Pint? Oh no, yeah. Navigation skills are are incredibly important. So the I want I just want to say one thing, and then I want I'd like you to take it away. The only thing I want to say is you don't start you don't start with a compass or a map. It's crazy. So that was new. That was new for me. And then Pint, I don't know how you want to uh, elaborate from there, but please go well, for it. I. 
I spent eight years as a as a soldier in the army, so I, I do my land nav abilities, and I get lost like nobody's business in that game. It's it's ridiculous. If you keep holding back, um, that you navigation is so hard because you don't have any references. I mean, you can use an online map, but if you you know until you have until you find a compass in the game, you're you're pretty much going from oh I think this is where I'm at to we gotta go to the hidden camp real quick. You gotta talk I'm to there. Yeah, it's, I'm there. It's amazing. It's, it's it's extremely difficult. Right. And then how the map is huge too. That's the other thing. So how yeah, how long does it take to get from one side of the map to the other? For this point, I'd I'd say an hour of real life running. Yeah. So it's pretty crazy. Right. So if your friends like, hey, meet me at. With us. Here, you know, then you're okay. And if it, you're really far away, you're screwed. I'll be there, be there in an hour. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds actually really interesting. It makes so the way what I've been telling my friends is that um, because the game takes a lot of time, you because you suddenly become so invested in in your character. Like a death really, really matters because. That death is not just a, oh, I died, I'm going to go respawn really quickly and join my friends. A death means, number one, you probably spent a couple hours, you probably spent an hour just trying to find your teammates on the map. And then, number two, you probably spent a couple hours scavenging for things, for items, for better items, and putting yourself at, at risk. And then, number three, if you die, you've got to do that all over again. It's going to take another hour to meet up with, with the rest of your team just so you guys can start playing again. So it's not like those RTS mods where you can just respawn or start a new game immediately. This is like, if you die, it really matters. And so, I mean, we talk, we, come, we all come from a Counter-Strike background where if you die, oh, we're down for a couple, you know, seconds or minutes. Seconds. Right. Yeah, but, which is different from like the Quake and Unreal and Doom games of the generation, but where you get to respawn instantly, but. I mean, coming from Counter Strike to DayZ, it's just—it's a lot different. It's like I said, you're just so much more invested in every life, and so you really, really, really don't want to die, and you really try to do everything you can to stay alive and be careful. And and then in addition to the zombies, there's enemy players that are trying to kill you. Oh yeah. So too. you know, it's not all. F I mean, we all hang. I mean, we all try to group together and we use voice program software to uh, meet up and coordinate, but I mean, if you're just playing the game by yourself, I mean, anybody can kill anybody. Even though we're playing together, we can just shoot each other in the back just as easily. That sounds like a lot of fun. I've it is. thought about it. <laughs> or, or at least a couple different players, a couple yeah. of specific players. Not, not to name any names over, <laughs> over the internet, but sure. there's some people we play with that are... Can make die in a fire for all I care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that make, uh, it makes your finger twitch. Like, yes. <laughs> So, uh, anyway. So, anyway, we're not here. Well, I did want to talk about Daisy a little bit, but the game we are playing today is Diablo. And the, what pint, what class are you playing? We never even got to that. So, what class are you playing? I, I'm playing my wizard. Right. Um, I'm, I've been trying to select gear that, has, uh, that helps me with my crit chance. And my crit damage. Okay. And um, I'm using abilities to help that out. So my, my runes are all, you know, help my crit chance. Um, if there's a if there's an ability that, that says, you know, you'll do this if you crit, then I'm probably using it. And I'm using Arcane Orb because it's a big, the big that's the wizard's version of a nuclear weapon. Does right. a lot of damage. It takes almost a third of your energy to use it. Uh, that computes my spammable. Um, using uh, warp time warp, just like you just saw. Yep. Um, I'm using uh, uh, of course it's required almost at this level. I'm using a uh, diamond skin. Right. And uh, teleport, so I can do that and get out of one arm's way. Yeah, get out of arm's way. Sounds good. And so I'm playing the demon hunter. I'm actually level 60, so I'm over-leveled for this difficulty, but the skills I'm using are, um, I'm using Guided Arrow, uh, just for damage, 
and then I'm using multi shot for damage. This isn't my typical Inferno build, uh, but and then I'm using a uh, little Sentry with uh, reduced damage shield. I'm using a uh, smoke screen because that's what you need, because because al all Demon Hunters use it for exploiting purposes. So that's what I'm going to use. And then uh, I use uh, Marked for Death for elites and bosses with the life steal. <laughs> yeah, everyone exploits. That's what people do. So um, I'm using uh, Mark for Death for elites and bosses, and then I'm using uh, Caltrops for. Uh, I have the, I have the, the, uh, what you call it? The crit, and the. Oh, what the hell? Oh, reflect damage. Does she have? Does she have reflect damage? Smoke or freezing? Both. Yes, both. I'm using uh, Caltrops for slow and um, crit ability. Freeze, sorry. We're good. I tried to steal. We're good. I think I was frozen, I was just trying to finish her. Alright. And so, like I said before, we're just trying to get through uh, Hell Act 2. I really thought I had the waypoints. We killed Magda a little while ago, but um, we're going to have to fight our way through the rest of this uh, act in order to kill the rest of the champions, in order to fight the rest of the bosses. So I think we're doing okay so far, as far as Hell goes. Uh, couple white Roush and uh, Roush hasn't been playing for a while, so he's under leveled. But he is awesome and is uh, doing the best he can. He's doing quite well, actually. Oh no, I'm a tryhard. Yeah, <laughs> you got you gotta be. You're uh, you play fighting games. That's a requirement. You put that on your resume. <laughs> you put it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, treasure, treasure Goblin, Treasure Goblin! Treasure Goblin! Oh, you would hit him over. It yeah. doesn't matter, Rob got the damage. Yeah. True. Oh, look at this guy drop. Uh, uh, uh. 25k crit. Mm, mm. Alright, anyway. What are we doing? We're trying to find the exit over here. I'm going this way. I got three tomes of blacksmithing out of that guy. This is terrible. And not a yellow. Yep. Yep, garbage. I'm oh, so look. glad he dropped those tomes. Yeah, up oh, here we because go. Because upgrading my blacksmith is ever worth it right now. Oh yeah, totally. So, how far is your blacksmith upgraded? Like none. I didn't Meh. really. I didn't really upgrade mine. Mine is to the point where I need tomes now. That's Same here. It's better to just uh, do save your money. Inferno Whimsy Shire. Oh, elites, 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 elites. We need buddies. Actually, I'm gonna no, use this choke. Coming. Freezing. Are you okay, Saw? Yep. Alright. Up oh, shield immunity. Oh, why have I. Why do I have no spirit? Freezing. Now I'm in trouble. Oh, no. oh wow. Uh, plague. Oh, no. oh, that's. That's why I died. Ouch. I tried to revive you. I think but... we're lagging. Yeah, we're having some lag. Alright. It's fine. No, it just was a second. Oh, oh, it's crazy. Crazy. oh that play hurts. Do that. Yep, don't stand in it. Yeah, so this is uh, It's like 3,000 a tick. That's ridiculous. So the other reason I'm we're rushing through uh, the rest of Hell... So actually, I'll recap. The reason why we're rushing through the rest of Hell is because number one, we want to get to Inferno. Because I think... Most people that are playing Diablo 3 are already at Inferno difficulty. I'm pretty sure they beat Hell. The other reason is because we're kind of behind on videos. We should have been in, on an Inferno difficulty by now. Um, and then the last reason why we're trying to get to Inferno difficulty, or the, the last reason, reason why we're rushing through this is because um, I'm kind of fed up with... I'm unhappy with Diablo 3. And I think it... I think Blizzard made a lot of money sale-wise. It was a success, but gameplay-wise, they really failed on Inferno. There's three major points that really that I think are really bad. The first one is the all the hacking is really bad. Like saw you got your account hacked. Mm -hmm. Anyone that joins a multiplayer game is basically another elite over here. Is basically putting themselves at risk. And saw what was Blizzard. Blizzard's uh, response, they're saying it's your fault, basically? Yeah, es essentially, long story short, they said, well, you probably don't know what you did, but you did something stupid, obviously. Obviously. Hey, long story short. Sure. 
And so they basically said it's your fault because you didn't get the authenticator. That doesn't right. come with the game that they're expecting everyone to get. But not making it required. They're just saying, oh, right. well, you don't have one, so you're putting yourself at risk. But that's your